guys? Heking here, bringing you another live reaction to Attack on Titan, this month's chapter of 137. If you didn't know before, Attack on Titan is ending in two months. April 9th will be the final chapter. So after this chapter, we only have two more left. So at this point in time speaking, we have three chapters left once I'm done too. Yeah. Time flies. It's crazy, man, but let's just get into this already. Like, I've been waiting ages for this chapter to come out to see how things would go. I kind of forget what happened last time. They, they wrapped the bombs. Sorry, they wrapped the bombs around uh, Eren's uh, Titan neck. Uh, Peckham's got stabbed. Uh, she escaped. Uh, I think they jumped back on, Falco, on Falco's back. Uh, Armin got captured and ended up in the past dimension where Zeke is. You know, we haven't seen him in, 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 in like, what, over a year, I think? And there he is, bingo, presto, he's, 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 he's in the past. Like, like I said, he's, he's in the, he's in the Titan. So, uh, you know, if they can kill him, they can potentially stop the, uh, rumbling. But, uh, let's find out if that's what happens this chapter. So, uh, do we have a title for this chapter? No, just hundred and, okay, we'll just continue on. So the first page is of the, of the Earth. And some DNA and the little worm thing that we got. I don't know what the name for that is. It's some long ass name with a hollow, hollow Jew or whatever it's called. <laughs> anyway, long, long ago, when nothing but mere matter existed in this world, as countless masses of some unknown things appeared, disappeared, then appeared again, one of them eventually survived. We now know it, it now know it as life. So we're getting this shot of the, the worm thing. Actually, there's another one in the background there as well. In the, in the ocean, swimming with other weird, fungi-looking creatures. And it's life. That's what they're calling it. Life. It's life. Li uh, 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 life will find a way. <laughs> so, it's kind of like, I guess it's that kind of metaphor, maybe. The source of all life, I assume. So, it's Zeke talking to Armin in the past dimension. He's building himself a little sandcastle. Oh, How many years has he been stuck in here? Jesus, can you imagine, like... Oh... The reason that life ultimately survived was because it was in its nature to multiply. Life took new forms in order to multiply, adapting to every kind of environment and eventually leading to us as we are now. It sought numbers, it sought spread, it sought um, aben abundance, abundance uh, uh. and so this is to say the purpose of life is to multiply. Chapter 137, Titans. So the chapter is called Titans. Okay. So Zeke is given off the same kind of explanation um, I'm assuming a lot of villains give off in movies. You know, mankind is a virus. It just spreads. Its purpose is to multiply and spread. And that's, that's kind of what I'm getting from uh, Zeke here. And Arm's just listening to this contently. This sand, these pebbles, the water, they don't seek to multiply, but life never stops in its frantic quest to do so. After all, death and extermination of the species runs counter to the goal of multiplying. That is why we face the punishment known as fear, and why that child so desperately sought to avoid such pain. That child is talking about Ymir. So yeah, the next panel is of Ymir, when she's what, being shot with arrows, whatever, and the thing connected with her, the worm thing. Something stronger, something larger. She gave birth to an undying body, and then she escaped to a world that was free of even death. And now Armin is talking as he's looking up, but like and around his surroundings, I think that girl was Ymir, the founder, and this is that world free of death. In that case, what exactly is Ymir's goal? Interesting. Does Ymir have a goal or or not? Like Eren, Eren sweet talked her, but. I think a lot of people assume that because uh, uh, you know she decided to listen to Eren and 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 take out of control from Zeke, that meant that you don't need any royal blood or whatever to control to get the founding started. But I see it more as a as a case of she's not listening to anyone with royal blood anymore. But you still need royal blood to activate uh, the Titan or the Rumbling, whatever. So technically, Zeke is like a battery. You get rid of the battery, and it should essentially stop, right? I myself spent an astonishing amount of time here trying to understand her. In spite of all the strength she had, she could never defy King Fritz. Why was that? For 2,000 years, she remained here obeying him. What was the reason? 
That's actually a good point. Did we ever actually realize where it was? And we're seeing, we're seeing Yamir's flashbacks to the king and his wife, whatever. Yes, she did still feel attached to the world she left behind. Okay. Uh, flashbacks to Zeke running uh, towards Eren when he's hugging Ymir. Eren was able to, at to was able to un understand that when I couldn't. And back to the present, and that is why Ymir went with him. Orman's like, his like, his eyes are lit up, and he's like, "You have to tell me." Isn't there some way of getting back to the outside world from here? Who knows? I think it's impossible now. I haven't given up on anything yet. Why? Well, to continue to multiply? Is the continuation of your species that important a task to you? I was just like... It's just like frozen for words, boy. What's happening now? Could be called the miserable sight of life forms controlled by fear. A kind of fear brought about by completely pointless vital activities that... And Armin's just screaming now, like, Zeke is just going on this next philo philosophical talk, and Armin's just like, like, yeah. he's stopping the lecture. My friends, they're fighting right now, because we can still save so many people from terror. What we're doing is fighting fear. And Zeke's just like, what could be wrong with losing that fight? Uh, you know that to live means, well, no, to, it means to one day die, does it not? It's so weird seeing Zeke here, and without his glasses as well, just like sitting here all calm and shit, talking to Armin of all people. Like it's weird. You never would have thought, like, 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 uh, the, the fight to the fight to the. You know what? It's. It does feel like it does feel like a talk no jutsu moment, doesn't it? Like from Naruto. But um, yeah, it's definitely a, it's definitely some sort of psychological approach that we're getting we're, we're getting here instead of like a direct uh, fight or confrontation that we usually get, like. You know, it, it, it is sort of a parallel to Armin, isn't it? To to the way he always wanted to talk down to his enemies, like and and stop them instead of just outright fighting them. And it, it you know, he sort of he, he f sort of failed that kind of task twice. With first time with Annie trying to get her to come underground, I think, or whatever, and it didn't work out. And then the second time with uh, Bertold, even though the first time he managed to like play him off and give Erwin a chance to save Eren. The second time it, it didn't work like he, he wanted and, and Bertolt was just sort of remaining strong and head first and re focused on his goal. And now, now he's, it's like, and it's, it's kind of similar to the same situation here now. Like, you know, here's another warrior that Armin is trying to talk to to, 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 to like stop or whatever, or help. Um, who knows? Perhaps one's final moments brings relief. And we're kind to the various characters, Reyna, Jean, who, who's that? Is that is that meant to be Connie and Mikasa and uh, Pe Peckhams? Maybe the end of your days being manipulated all in the name of mortification without ever knowing if it means anything at all. Jesus, let me bring this forward up. Is that better? Can you see my beautiful face? Sorry about that. Look. Okay, without ever knowing if it means anything at all, it feels like freedom. Armin looks down at the sand. He sees a leaf. Remembers to a time when Eren was running to a tree with Mikasa behind him and there was a leaf in the wind. He grabs it. The sun was starting to set. We were running to a tree on the hill. The three of us were racing. We never did get a... Did we get any sort? I don't remember if we got a connection to that tree. Remember the very first chapter of the series, Eren's like sleeping or he wakes up and he has all these flashes. Obviously those were like the attack titan memories, whatever, from the future being passed down, I'm assuming. We haven't got a connection to that yet, have we? Or did we? I don't remember. I think we did, but... The, the three of us were racing. Zeke's listening. Eren brought up the idea and took off out of nowhere. Mikasa ran too, but stayed behind him on purpose, and of course I was dead last. But the breeze was nice and warm that day. Just running felt good, leaves fluttered everywhere, and for some reason I fought then. Maybe the reason I was born. We're getting a nice panel of the three of them running towards the tree, behind them is the walls and their town. The reason I, I was born was so that the three of us could be racing there. Mm. Zeke's like having a like there's a nice panel of Zeke it's like he's having an epiphany or something and behind him is the is the stars and everything cut into arm and reading books taking care of a squirrel I thought the same thing when I read books at home on a rainy day when a squirrel ate some nuts I gave him I gave it when he was in the when he was in the training corps says I think there's Gene and Marco 
and there's him with Sasha, Carney, Jean in the market, I think shopping and eating. When we all walked around the market too, I felt it that these tribal, moment, tribal moments might actually be precious. Okay, so this is an interesting shot. Uh, Armin clearly picked up what looks like a leaf, but Zeke's looking at Armin and he sees a baseball in his hand instead. So, is this is the past dimension basically meant to be sort of like heaven or something? You can just imagine whatever you want here. Like Armin sees a leaf from his past, and Zeke sees a uh, baseball from his past, and now and now Zeke sees a leaf again. Or that's this. Okay, so uh, uh, it's so confusing, guys. Hold on, let me go to part two. And we're back again. So uh, Armin's clearly got a leaf in his hand, or at least that's what Armin thinks he has. And Zeke sees a baseball instead, so he's reaching out now. This Armin's just like this. It was buried in the sand. Why is that? And Zeke's like, he's like confused. Why is that? Who knows? But to my eyes, so now Armin's like holding up what's clearly a baseball in his hand. But to my eyes, even if there's no need for something like this in order to multiply. It's still something incredibly precious. So he's holding up the baseball, the leaf baseball, whatever, towards Zeke. Zeke's remembering the baseball. He's thinking back to the days when he used to play catch with uh, Xavier. Yes, you're right. Just throwing, catching, and throwing again. That's simple repetition. He takes the baseball of Armin's hand. It doesn't mean a thing, but you're right. Oh, that's a that's a crazy freaking panel there. So, I would have much rather just kept on playing catch. So when he says that, and behind him are all the different dead shifters. You've got, you've got uh, Marcel, Porco, Xavier, uh, uh, OG, the origin, the, the other Ymir, Kruger, and Grisha. Jesus, what's what's going on here? Is this what the chapter's referring to when it means Titans? And Zeke looks behind him, and Armin can see them as well. He seems shocked as hell. So Armin's looking, and behind Armin, there's someone else walking towards him. So behind, yeah, there's someone walking behind Armin, towards Armin, I think, and behind Zeke and them is all oh, these people, and yeah, Zeke sees them all, yeah. It's Marcel, Porco, Xavier, Grisha, Kruger, and Ymir. What is going on? And now we're cutting back to the the rumbling, and uh, we, we, yep, the, 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 the yeah. Colossal Titans are still heading for that big ass uh, port, or whatever you know, that mountain top. They wouldn't be able to climb up that, would they? They would. They would. They would have to walk past that. So technically, anyone on the mountain top would be safe, wouldn't they? They can't trample that. Like, think about it. Like, like this is the mountain top, and you got Titans just like uh, 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 they. They wouldn't be able to like. You know what I mean they would hit that? They would have to go around that, wouldn't they? Or would they just break through that? Like, what's going on? So uh, what is going on? Uh, so we're now we're cutting back to the fight. Yeah, we, we can see all the little mini titans. We're kind of zooming in onto the onto the giant ass uh, skeleton, and you can see all the mini titans climbing up there. There's Jean, and there's Peckham's, and uh, she's she's got her hand ripped off. She's she's out of her titan form, and she's jumping out. I think she's jumped out of her titan form, and uh, and I think that's a jaw titan, whatever, with a skull going for her, and Jean just flies in, saving her life. Peckham, man, she does she does look a bit like well. Sort of resembles Mikasa, right? I mean, imagine if these two got together, like, in the future. Uh, Beckham's, I can keep fighting once my arm's fixed. And, and Jean's like, you're at your limit. We need to retreat back to where Reyna... And he's look, Jean's looking. Jean's looking. He's trying to get to Reyna. He's racing to Reyna. And oh my god, like, is that the Warhammer? So there's another Warhammer for Skype instead of a hammer. And it's about to decapitate Reyna. Reyna's on the ground. He's He's beaten. He's got like various spikes and staff and arrows in his back and neck. Like Jesus, Reyna, like Jesus. He's about to get decapitated. I think it's all the different Warhammer Titans. Like they all ganged up on him. And Reyna's looking. Uh, is it is Reyna going to die this chapter? Is he finally going to die? Let's, let's be honest guys, he's not going to die. Okay, Isayama's not going to kill him off. Okay, this dude has avoided death like the plague. Okay, <laughs> he's not dying anytime soon. But shit, man, you got the jaw tight. You got the different jaw titans coming up behind Gene and Peckham's Gene, Peckham, and the, the both of them look behind. And oh, what's going on? What is going on? I don't get what's going on, but you've got like a, you've got a Bertold's colossal titan, uh, all spidery like, uh, still down, and then you've got that. Uh, that horse, that horse thing, Titan, whatever, like uh, climbing up one of the spikes. I think it's the one that's got Ar Armin, maybe? I could be wrong. I don't know what that Titan is. 
And there's Annie in her, in her female Titan form fighting. She's getting tackled by, I'm assuming, is, a, is another armor Titan. Uh, there's a goat Titan there as well. I, I, mean, I think that's a goat, or is it a dog Titan? God knows. That's obviously a beast. That's the, obviously a version of the beast Titan. Mikasa and Connie see this Annie, and Annie's just getting beaten down, man. Like, there's, there's all these various Titans just ganging up on her. Well, there's a first time for everything, Annie. Your first gangbang experience. I hope you're enjoying it. That was that was not funny, was it? Okay, this is weird. Something weird just happened. Uh, Annie's getting... Okay, she's getting ganged up upon. Okay, no pun intended there, but she's getting ganged upon. And a giant-ass hand just swiped all the other titans away, uh, which is obviously... Bertolt's titan? What the hell? What? She looks up and... Okay. Bertolt's titan just saved Annie's life. What? She looks up Bertold. And Jean, he's got... Oh, look at that shot with Jean and, uh, and Peckham in his arms. He's protecting her, like... These two are going to end up together, aren't they? I, I don't mind. I don't really care. Like, as long as they end up happy in some way. But, and Jean's like, what? Like, what? Like, and Peckham's like, she seems a bit confused as well. Like, what? Porco and Marcel, what? What is going on here? So, uh, Porco, the jaw titans, the two different jaw titans that belong to Porco and Marcel just are, are, are attacking the other titans and ripping their napes up. What? Rain is like Galliard? Like what's oh one of them is biting into Reino. What Oh no, what what's going on here? One of them is biting into Reina and, and it gets grabbed or hit no it gets hit, it got hit aside, it's Ymir. Like Ymir, his story is Ymir, like in, in the da the dancing titan. Did he just save us, Bertold? Like Connie's asking that's like next to Amikasa, Amikasa's just like I don't know, but but uh, I'm not wasting this opportunity. So yeah, this is uh, this is giving Mikasa a chance to go after that uh, horse titan or whatever the hell it is. Like, I don't know the name for this animal. Like, it's confusing. And that thing is jumping from spine to spine, like, trying to avoid it. Who the hell was that? Oh, Falco. Falco is flying in and... and was it Gabby? Yeah, Gabby just... Uh, she's, with, she's with Levi. And Gabby just sh fired at the uh, horse titan or whatever. And it blew one of its eyes out. I hit it. I hit it. <laughs> That's so funny, you got Levi like holding uh, Gabby down while she's aiming that big ass sniper rifle on, Fal on Falco. I think she, did she shoot again? No, like, I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. I think she shot again, or no. I think the, the horse titan fell off, it lost its grip on the spine, and it's falling. It's still got like one hand, like it's scratching down. It's trying to, I think, trying to stop itself from falling completely, but I don't think it's working. And there's Mikasa swooping in for the kill. Give Armin back! Did, what did she, she slice through its nape or its mouth? She sliced through the jaw. She sliced like that way. And then the jaw just opens up like bleh. And then there's Armin falling out of it. Yeah, there's Armin falling out from that side like bleh. All that blood and everything, that's cool. Armin, yeah. And there's Armin spitting out all the cum that he's been drinking up this whole time. Yep, yeah, like, spit it out, man. Spit it out, you're not a swallower. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I can't help it making these dirty jokes, man, like, it's just, I, my, my brain sees what it wants to see, and, yeah, I, I have, I have to find some sense of humour in that, and shit, well, shit, I spoke too soon, uh, that horse titan thing just, how the hell does that even work? No, seriously, it shot, it's the, the horse titan that just got shot in the eye by Gabby, manages to compose itself back on the spine, and facing Armin, it shoots out its tongue and it goes through his freaking thigh. It went through his thigh. Is that his thigh or his balls? No, it went through his thigh. What the hell? What? Why is it so determined to capture Armin? Like, what the hell? What is going on here? Is that is that Armin or... Okay, so it shot its tongue through Armin, trying to catch him. Armin feels that and he... And he and he fires off his thunder spears at the titan and blows it up. So yeah, boom. And blows it, yeah, he blows it up, it's gone. Oh no, it's falling down and it's dragging Armin with it because its tongue is stuck in his thigh, man. He's going down with it. Who is that? Connie, Connie just came in and cut the tongue off. Like, there's a piece of tongue still stuck in Armin's leg. 
but Iconic just came, swooped in and cut the tongue off from the from the Titan. So yeah, uh, uh, Annie and uh, Connie screaming to Annie. Armin's falling, he's falling, and he gets caught. And it's uh, Annie that catches him. While well, all behind Annie, she's got one arm left, by the way. She's only got one arm left, and she needs us to catch Armin. And there's all the other Titans behind her, ganging up on her. Armin. And, oh, man, Armin is, uh, Armin is still spitting all that crap out. Sorry, everyone, but we're okay now. We're okay now. So, so yeah, okay. So, obviously, he talked with Zeke in the Pops dimension, and this is the result of that. So, is Zeke controlling all of these Titans, then? What is going on? I don't get it. This is so confusing. So, OG Ymir has no control over these Titans, and somehow Zeke has. What the hell does this mean? I'm so confused. I, I really am. I'm very confused by this chapter. I like it. I like what I'm reading, but at the same time, I'm like, what the hell is going on? I really like endings like this, where like every single character just comes together and gangs up. It really does give me feelings of a Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, uh, yeah, I think that's the only manga I can compare it to because I don't know any other manga. Maybe, maybe Maki, where all the other characters came together at the last minute to like fight uh, all the various uh, demons or whatever, and like and the main villain. It kind of reminds me of that. But I like it. I like endings like that. I just hope it's it's expanded upon and better done. But so far, so good. You know, I'm not really complaining. Uh, I'm just confused why this is happening. So yeah, everyone, we're okay now. Connie's like Annie behind you, and there's Mikasa coming in. Annie looks behind her. Okay. And uh, Grisha and Kruger have entered the frame. Okay, this is crazy. And Xavier's Titan as well, which is a goat. Unexpected. Um, part three. So, on to part three. So, yeah, Annie was about to get attacked. And now you've got the uh, attack Titan and the other beast Titan coming in to help. So, there's Grisha's Titan form. There's uh, Kruger, like, doing... He's doing the freaking ship thing maneuver that he did with the ship. Remember when he picked the ship up and he like he did that with it or whatever? He's doing that to a Titan. He's literally <laughs> crop stomping a Titan like that on his on his back. That's crazy. And there's Xavier's Titan, and it's clearly a sheep Titan because uh, his body looks all man like, but the head is like a sheep or like a. He's got the horns and everything, so he's he's just like ramming the other Titans. I think he just rammed one of the female Titans onto another Titan. Like that's crazy. And it's just there's just Grisha punching other Titans away like. Like the man beast he is, and they just—they all look confused. Everyone is confused. Like, what the hell is going? Yeah, what's going on here? And you've got Bertolt just swatting Titans away, like it's nothing. What is going on? And there's Levi and Gabby and Falco just flying around this shit, and they're like, the Titans are helping us. And Levi's like, seems that way. Hey, hey. And Levi, someone's calling up to Levi. Hey, oh my God, it's Zeke. What the hell is going on, Zeke? Zeke is coming out one of the spines, like he's forming himself. So did Zeke die technically, or, or he's being formed? He's forming himself out of one of the spines, and he's grabbing onto one of the spines. So he's only like half his. It's only like his torso, shoulders, and head. He's like, hey, over here. He's waving to Levi, and Gabby's like, what? And Levi's like, no way. You wanted to meet me, didn't you, Levi? Can't say I wanted to do the same. He's shouting out to Levi. Oh, is he? Is he? Does he want Levi to kill him? Zeke and Z Levi's just like, like bloody confused. Like, what is going on? And there's Connie like standing on Annie with uh, M Mikasa is pulling the tongue out of Armin. Like, what? What the hell's going on? And and it's thanks to Mr. Zeke, Armin, and Mikasa, like, Zeke. And in the background, you got the you got the you got Grisha just knocking Titans out. You've got Kruger going fist to fist with one of the other Titans. And there's there's Xavier's go titan just like what is he's grabbed one what is that is that a titan is that a midget titan he's grabbed a titan in his hand and he's just did he rip it in half i like he's punched one into a spine and he's used his other hand to rip it like what what is going on and now we're getting a panel of zeke looking at xavier and grisha he woke up everyone who was asleep in the world of the path where neither life nor death exists Every Eldian is connected to one another by the path, I think. Uh, I think it's because... and Oh yeah, okay, so as, as he's saying this, and we're seeing all of these characters appear. And there's Bertold, the guy that was walking behind Armin was Bertold. It's Bertold walking up behind Armin. And there's Ymir in the distance, and he's looking at her. It's because the founder, Ymir, wants to be connected, because she wants something from us. And there's Bertold behind Armin. Armin, Bertold. 
and he's looking at Bertold and Xavier's looking at Mr. Xavier. Our our dream, our dream was never realized. I still don't think the Inufiism plan was mistaken, but he's holding up the baseball. If it meant getting to play catch with you again, I guess I wouldn't mind being born once more after all. So I suppose I'll thank you, Dad. Oh, he's talking. I feel sad, man. Like it's like it's like these characters are getting their final moments with these people, like that they never really had a chance to say goodbye to or have a proper talk to. So I suppose I'll thank you, Dad. And now Armin's having his moment of Bertold. I took everything from you: your life, your power, even your precious memories. That's why I know we can't just stay here. And both of them at the same time, Zeke and Armin are saying this, lend me your strength. And there's just Zeke chilling on the spine like in the wind. What a beautiful day it is. If only I'd realised that earlier. Well, after all the killing I've done, that's asking for too much. I want to cry, man. Like, uh, I've got tears in my eyes, man. Uh, I know some people will probably call this an arse pool or something, but I feel very emotional here, man. It's like... I feel like Zeke was a very depressed guy, and this was like his moment to like get some sort of closure, I think, with the people that he that he was closest to, or wanted to be close to. And in his final moments, he's like, he's just staring up the sky, and he's having his nemesis. He's been decapitated. Um, Levi just swooped in, cut his head off, like, and that's his final moments, his final lines. Well, after all the killing I've done, that's asking for too much. And there's Levi, we get a shot of Levi now, and there's, Le there's Zeke's head just flying off, like literally just swooped in, straight cut, head's going flying. And there's Levi. I don't know, he doesn't, he doesn't have a face of, what do you call it, of content, it's more like, just like, regret or confusion, I don't, it, it's not satisfaction. After all that, after making all of those promises to Erwin, making that promise to Erwin and wanting to kill Zeke all this time, he finally does it and there's not a single look of satisfaction on Levi's face. It, it, it goes back to, honestly, I think this is a good chapter so far. It's a fun chapter. I, I get what people are, I mean, I read I read some of the complaints from people about this chapter, but I was like, you know, you got to read it first. Like, people are, are, are sort of losing their minds over it, but I'm liking it so far. This was emotional. I feel like this was a resolution kind of chapter for a lot of these characters. Like, Zeke got his resolution. Like, he, remember, we don't know how many years he's been in the in the path dimension. It, it wouldn't have been for, like, a day or two. Like, he would have been in there for a long time, just building all of these titans. And he was depressed until Armin came and had that talk with him. And remember, like, it was set up from the very beginning that Armin would be the one to save the world. Well, whatever world is left. And he's the one having that talk with Zeke. Because he's the one who always wanted to see the world. He was the one full of life, technically. Um... And Levi, like, you know, what did Kenny say? You know, people need something to live on, to push themselves forward, to keep on living. And I, f I guess this was Levi's goal. And now that he's accomplished it, he doesn't have a look of satisfaction on his face. And now, so he there's, there's Zeke's head flying. Man, I can't believe Zeke's dead, damn. And I can't believe Levi finally killed him. Like, I honestly didn't think that would happen. Like, but there you go. Like, uh, it happened. Two chapters before the end, man, damn. Um, and there's, there's, and now we're seeing the people, we're back with the people on the, uh, on the mountain, on the mountain base, and they're seeing all of this. There's, there's Raina's mom. The rumbling. It stopped. Oh! It has stopped. They've stopped moving. The Colossal Titans have stopped, and they what's going on here? So we're back. And there's Jean. Oh my god, this panel, there's so much going on here. I'm so confused. There's there's Peckham biting one titan, there's Jean just flying in. So did Peckham transform again or is this someone else? I think Peckham did transform again, we just didn't see it. Uh, there's Reyna just taking blows from all the different Warhammer titans, throwing weapons and shooting arrows and spears at it. There's Moss, there's po Polko biting one. There's Ymir getting shot in the back, biting and trying to grab another. There's Marcel getting annihilated. There's Cart Titan fighting one. And Jean's like, go! Uh, I think he's screaming to... No, it's Reyna screaming. Go, Jean. I think it's Reyna saying, go. And there's and there's Peckham Jean. Oh, Jean's gone for the detonator. He's got the detonator with, with all the explosive wrapped around uh, Aaron's neck. Is Aaron not going to do anything? Jesus, he's just like... Let me get a shot of this, man. This is a, this is a cool panel here. Might use that for my thumbnail.
But yeah, R R Aaron's not doing anything. Like, what the hell? He's got the detonator and Aaron's just like, he's not even you, stupid little suicidal blockhead. Gene, Gene pushes the de Oh my god, he killed- does he kill Aaron? It explodes and Aaron's head falls. It's fallen from the spine, like, like the, the head that, that was connected. It, it's just, it's just like, it's like falling off, like it blew up and it's falling off. It's falling down. Gene's taking cover from the explosion. Oh Jesus, that, that senti spine thing is back. It's literally the worm. Jesus, how did I not realize this? You can see the detail on the antennas and the and the suction wrap things, whatever, like... What's it coming out of? It's coming out of the spine neck, not the head. It's coming out of the spine neck. And, and Gene is screaming, there it is. It's doing it again. It's going off to Aaron's head. It's trying to connect to Aaron's head. And there's Raina jumping in and grabbing the, the senti spine. He's grabbing the senti thing, whatever. He's grabbing it, stopping it from connecting to Aaron's head. And Gene's just like, Reyna, and he's crushing down, he crushes down to the ground with the senti spine, whatever. And there's Falco flying in, and Gene, Peckham. Is Peckham on the, is Peckham on the, on Falco? So we got, um, there, there, there's, uh, is that, who is that, is, is that Peckham? I think there's Peckham on Gabby, there's Levi, there's Mika and there's Connie. And Mika says, we need to get away quick, Armin's gonna blow those bones to pieces. Oh, Armin's gonna go supernova, okay. Wait, but Reyna! No, that's not, that's not, no, that's not, uh, who is that? Who is that holding down, uh, Gabby? Is that, that's, that can't be Armin. Jesus, that's annoying. Sorry about the interruption. So that was Annie, that's Annie on the back, not, not, uh, not, uh, Peckham's. So Armin's gonna blow those bones to pieces, but Reyna, wait, and there's Peckham, she's on one of the spines upside down and she's coming out of her Titan. The armor Titan should be able to withstand the Colossal Titan's explosion. Yeah, that's true. It can. It can withstand. And if you guys remember, Bertold didn't blow himself up uh, the first time uh, during the uh, return to Shingangshi arc because Reyna's body was exposed until he was on his back, at which point he did it and he was fine. So he can withstand it. And most of all, Rain is prepared for the consequences, so he's holding down the senti spine on the ground to let this opportunity get away would be to let that go to waste. So yeah. Rain is not gonna die. He's gonna be fine. Unless unless that thing so cracks him out of there or whatever, then he'll be dead. But no, he'll be fine. How's Peckham gonna get out of this? What is that? Uh, so uh Gene's got on board. Oh, he got Peckham as well. Like he uh, doesn't show how, but he got Peckham on board. So there's Peckham, Gene on board, they're holding on. And Falco is just like flying. He's like shooting off. He's shooting off from there as fast as he can. Thank you. It's a thank you to all the other Titans there. Oh man, that is a, that is that is such a great bloody shot. So wow, you've got you've got you've got Marcel Poco and Ymir looking on as they're going, the Jaw Titans basically, the Jaw Titans who sacrifice their lives constantly to save, to save Reyna. And then you've got this amazing, wow, this should be, wow, this, wow, that's a great fucking panel right there, guys. Wow. So, it's, it's, it's the Colossal Titan, Bertold, he's got his hands like that, and, uh, on the left and the right. On the on the right, it's Grisha's Titan form. On the left, it's Kruger's Titan form. The Attack Titans. In the middle is Xavier's Goat Titan. Like a he looks like a Minotaur as well. It's like a Goat Minotaur Titan, and he's crutching, or he's crutching down, or he's like he's like sort of standing crutching. And in his hands, he's got he's got Armin. He's got Armin in his hands. He was about to go freaking nuclear. Thank you. Without all of your strength, we wouldn't have been able to stop the rumbling. And Mikasa's looking. Oh man, she looks really sad. Goodbye, Aaron. Armor transforms and that final panel is just a massive explosion. It's a massive explosion coming from the... That's blowing away Aaron's Titan form. Falco's flying and everyone on there seen it from the distance. Like, wow, that's a beautiful goddamn shot, man. God damn. That's a man. There's so many good panels in this chapter. Holy crap! Is that it? Is that the final? Yeah, that's the final panel. Like we said, we said like so. The the, the bombs didn't blow kill Aaron. No, it it looks like this nuke thing would have would have done him in. 
Okay, guys, uh, I need a second. I need a second to breathe. Oh, my bottle of water fell down. Damn God, it, damn, damn God, it was closed. Okay, um... I did read some leaks beforehand, obviously, and people were losing their shit online. Like, people were really not happy with this chapter. I don't mind this, okay? I'm not, look, I'm not of that, I'm not of that, I'm not of either group that's like, I want the Jaegers to win, I want Eren to win, I want the Alliance to win, blah, 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 inconvenience, all this bullshit. Look, look, for me, the worst things I have seen in terms of a, a bad final, like in terms of bad writing and bad finals has to be Game of Thrones, uh, the, the Rise of Skywalker, and The Last of Us 2, okay? For me, those are examples of very shitty bad writing and direction. And Attack on Titan, from what I'm reading here, does not even, does not even compare to the crap that those things delivered. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, the execution for this might be a bit muddy, but I understand the themes and the resolutions for a lot of the characters I thought were really done well. Would I have preferred a good two chapters with Zeke would have? Yeah! I would have liked a, a, a big ass chapter just being Armin and Zeke talking philosophically and then going back to the action. But it does feel like uh, Isayama wants to wrap this up. If anything, you can make the argument this feels rushed a bit. It does feel rushed a bit, yes. But I get what he's going for, I get what he's doing, and I don't mind that. I, I like this. Maybe the anime will expand on some things a little bit if we're lucky, but... I don't mind what I'm seeing here. I think it's beautiful, I think it's very sad, I think it's very tragic. And it needed to happen. Okay, Eren is not the hero anymore. He's not the hero of the story. He, he hasn't been the hero since the Marlene arc. Okay, he stopped being the hero after the end, after the time skip. Okay, Eren became uh, the story's villain. Essentially, he is the villain. He was set up as the villain by, by Willy Willy, and he became that villain. Anyone who, who thinks uh, uh, g genocide is a good bloody thing... That, that's... I'm sorry, that's not a hero. I get why Eren is doing it. I do. I understand 100%. But, um, I can't, you know, it's not, it's, it's a very, it, it's, it is a very black and white situation. You can't even call it grey because there's a lot of innocent people who, who are getting killed, who've gotten killed because of this and they had no fault. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I don't know, for people wanting that kind of ending, like, we have two more chapters left, okay? I do believe the final chapter is going to be like an epilogue. But the, the next chapter is going to be the big... Because I think there is going to be a twist. And that twist is going to be that... Um, because you have to remember, guys. Uh, Historia has given birth and Zeke just died. So the Beast Titan has to be passed on, right? And most likely, uh, Historia's kid is properly going to get... Uh, is going to get the, the Beast Titan... Uh, powers. It's going to get transferred to, to the baby. We still don't know who the dad is. It could very well be Eren. I think it is pretty much going to be Eren who's going to be revealed as the father. And uh, the other thing is, we, we haven't really seen uh, Eren neutralize or utilize the powers of the Warhammer. Think about it. We get this big reveal that you can pretty much hide yourself and, 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 and sort of uh, control from a distance when you're a Titan, right? Now, honestly, if, 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 if that's going to be the big twist next chapter, it's going to be a big what the fuck twist. And I wouldn't mind it, but I also would be very sad if it happened. But it would be a very bittersweet ending if it did. I like I like the idea that Eren does destroy the majority of the world, but I also like the idea that these guys managed to at least stop him somewhat from killing the rest of the remaining Marleans or Eldians that are there. If you can end in a in a way where it's sort of like a draw, where okay, the world the, the majority of the world is dead, but there's still survivors, and they can maybe work together and 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 uh, make the world a better place this time. You know, instead of having all this war and hate and all that shit, I would I wouldn't mind an ending like that, a very bittersweet ending, because this is not going to be a happy ending in any way. Like people still died, cities, countries got demolished. But uh, I wouldn't mind if, like, next chapter we find out that, no, Eren is, is, it has not been in that Titan the whole time. Like, he's been safely on Paradise Island, remotely controlling it from a distance, and, 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 and we get that revelation, and maybe when he, when, he, when he ends up holding his baby in his hand, if it is his baby, his story's baby, and then, boom, the, the rumbling activates again, and it's like, 
what the hell, like, and there's nothing they can do, they can't fly all the way back there, stop it, it's done, like, the, the, if, if that's what the twist is going to be, that's going to be an amazing twist. But even if that doesn't happen, uh, I don't mind it, I do like the direction that this is going. I am curious what's going to happen next chapter, obviously, Rain is not dead, I, he's going to be alive, that senti thing definitely got killed, I mean, the whole point was, was, to, was to get that out of the spine, and then kill it, and, and, and it seems Armin's explosion would have done that, it would have killed that, uh, worm thing, whatever it was, because that thing is pretty much responsible for all the shit that's happened. It's, it's a parasite. It's essentially a parasite that infected a human being and caused all this crap. So, now the big question comes down to now is, is, is what happens, to, what does that mean for Eren? Like, does he need that thing to live or, or not? Like, uh, Zeke's death was, uh, it was emotional. It was emotional. It was, I wouldn't say, was it poetic? I wouldn't say it was poetic. Like I said, this guy was depressed his whole life and in his final moments, like he gets a he gets a prep talk from someone that was all about living and wanting to see the world. So maybe if Zeke had someone like that, a friend like that in his life, he wouldn't have turned out the way he did. Um, alas, it's a nice way of, of course, you can also look at the parallels between an Aaron, like he, Aaron had a friend like that and look what Aaron, what happened to Aaron, like he got fed all of that and he wanted to be free and did all of this shit. So I don't know, it's a, uh, Interesting way to look at things. I do think there'll be some sort of uh, final confrontation. I don't think Aaron is, is dead. Like, we definitely need to see his POV and what's going on. But I do feel like ne next month is going to be like a big what the fuck twist. I do think that that is going to happen. That we're going to get that Warhammer surprise revelation next chapter. And it's going to be like, what the hell? Like, I think. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But if it does, then holy shit. Like, but that's the thing. We, 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 all, we, all, we all come up with our own theories or we read theories and we have this... Uh, my, uh, set in our minds and then it doesn't happen and we get end up disappointed and really it's our fault me I'm not expecting much I don't know what to expect from the ending of this okay like uh, I'm expecting a bittersweet ending I'm not expecting any side to really win or lose like do you know what I mean uh, in this com in this conflict there's only two chapters left anything can happen at this point so but overall I did like reading this chapter I thought it was beautiful and it was nice seeing all the past titans coming and helping out um Honestly, I don't know what more to say. Like, it was a pretty cool, action-packed, uh, emotional chapter, in my opinion. Um, yeah, curious to see what's going to happen next uh, next month. Like, damn. Time is flying like that. It's flying like that. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, like and subscribe, whatever. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and...